What's up? You know the drill. It's birdies. I'm D. I love birds. If you missed last week's episode, check it out up there. Here's also the bird rubric that we go over every week. What bird are we talking about? Flamingos! Ah! A little pink guy. It's a little pink friends. Let's get into it. Flamingos are in the family Phonicopteridae. It's hard to say, hard to spell. That's their family. They are, they are, thank you, Caleb, oh my God. They are the only birds in that particular family. They have a lifespan of 20 to 30 years, though the oldest ones have been seen to be up to 50 years old. And they are also found in North and South America, Africa, Asia, and Europe. So the only places they aren't is Australia and Antarctica. Starting us off, we're in category number one, bird smarts. My first fact is that flamingos sleep on one leg. Obviously, you've probably seen pictures of this before or videos or something. They do this in order to help preserve their muscle power. And scientists also believe that it helps keep them warmer because they have less extremities exposed when they like tuck a leg up into their body. It's my bird leg. My other fact for this category is that flamingos are typically found in something called brackish waters, which means it's where salt water and fresh water bodies mix. They like collide with each other. But some flamingos raise their young in very, very salty bodies of water called alkaline lakes or soda lakes. These areas have such a high concentration of salt that it is typically uninhabitable for most animals, but for some reason, flamingos are able to survive here. Researchers are still trying to figure out the physiology behind flamingos' bodies to figure out why they can survive, whether it's really tough leg skin or some other part of their genetic makeup. But sometimes baby flamingo chicks are not able to adapt and salt will build up on their legs and they are unable to walk and it can be fatal for some flamingo babies. So for this category, we're starting off not too crazy. I'm gonna give flamingos a five out of 10. Our next category is bird call. So this first fact doesn't technically have to do with a flamingo's call. It's kind of more so what a flamingo is called. In Spanish, the word for flamingo is flamenco, which is also a very popular cultural dance in Spain. One time, fun fact, a flamingo chased me and I totally deserved it because <laughs> we went to this resort in the Dominican Republic for my graduation present and they had two flamingos, it was a boy and a girl, just like on the grounds and they would just like walk around and just be like, and just like sit in the different like pools. And every day I would get a little bit closer and every time I would like take a step closer to the male flamingo, he would like lean over and hiss at me. He'd literally just be like, shh. And I was like, oh my God, he likes me. And <laughs> so I kept getting closer. One day I think just, I got too close and he fully like came out of the pool and like chased me for a minute. And then I didn't go back near him again. The people at the hotel were like, you need to, you need to stop. Flamingo's calls are typically just a series of honks. That's it. They kind of sound like a goose or a duck. Here's a, an example. <laughs> So there you go. That's their call, baby. So for this category, I'm gonna rate flamingos a three out of 10. Category number three, we're into plumage. Flamingos are famously pink and they get this pink color because they eat shrimp. I'll get into that a little bit more in eating habits, but yeah, that's where they get their famous pink color from. Now, when flamingo chicks hatch from their eggs, they are like a white gray color. They aren't pink yet. They're also born with straight bills and it takes several years for their bills to eventually hook like what you normally see on a flamingo and for their feathers to turn pink. So for this category, I'm gonna rate flamingos a nine out of 10, partially because Caleb said, baby flamingos having to wait years for their feathers to turn pink, that's commitment and I agree. So moving on into category number four, we're into eating habits. Typically, flamingos eat algae, small seeds, tiny crustaceans like brine shrimp, 
fly larvae, and other plants and animals that live in shallow waters. Now their diet mainly consists of algae and brine shrimp. Many plants produce natural red, orange, and yellow pigments called carotenoids. Carotenoids are what give carrots their orange color and what make tomatoes red. They're also found in the microscopic algae that brine shrimp feed on. So when flamingos eat regular algae and also brine shrimp, it metabolizes in their body and effectively is what turns their feathers pink. Okay, now this next fact I love, and it is the way that flamingos eat. Flamingos eat with their heads upside down. So when it's time to eat, a flamingo will place its head underwater <laughs> with its bill facing towards its feet basically and sweep its head side to side. It uses its tongue to pump water in and out of its mouth and it has comb-like filters on the sides of its beaks that allow food and water in but pushes the water back out leaving just algae and brine shrimp in its mouth. So for this category, I'm gonna give flamingos an eight out of 10. And now we're into mating habits. Flamingos are monogamous, meaning that they mate for life and both mom and dad help take care of the babies and the eggs before they hatch. They also both help to build the nest for the babies, which are made out of mud. Basically think of like a mini volcano made out of mud with enough room for like one large egg to just kind of sit on top. And that's a flamingo nest. So that's about all I was able to find. Nothing super crazy, but mud volcano nests are pretty sick. So I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. We're now into our second to last category, flight patterns. So when you think of flamingos, you might think of them gathered in huge groups on the ground in some body of water. However, flamingos do fly. Flamingos will either travel to breed or to move to a different body of water as the climate changes and it gets colder or as food around them changes. Now, if they are traveling long distances, they typically do this at nighttime, which is probably why you've never seen a flamingo fly. They can fly up to 600 kilometers or 373 miles in a single night and they typically travel at about 50 to 60 kilometers per hour or 31 to 37 miles per hour. For this category, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. Now let's get into D-zone bias. So number one, a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance, which is everything. Number two, flamingo legs actually bend like a human's. If you think of a flamingo standing on their tiptoes, the part of the leg that you're seeing that bends backwards is actually considered their ankle joint and their knees are just higher up on their body and hidden by their feathers. And fact number three, flamingo egg yolks are pink, which is awesome. That's so cute. But how do they know that? They be eating flamingos. So for this category, flamingos are sick. So I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. And with that, we are done with flamingos. After tallying up their scores, they get an average 6.6 .6 points. Yeah, 6.6 .6 points out of 10. And that's it. <laughs> Let me know what you would rate flamingos. Leave me suggestions for other birds. And as always, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, we're done.